guys, um, this is Wolf Freeland Fallout Kid, and welcome to a DVD update. So, and yes, I know it's, yes, I know, I I went out of town to my sister and to spend the night, spend the night there, and I also went to a local game store and Goodwill, bought a couple of cool stuff, and hey, this is not the stuff I bought from, this is the one I got from, yeah, I actually got this from, uh, from eBay though, but the other stuff I just bought, like yesterday or so, I will show you those in another vi for another video or so. So, but like I said, this is like I said, this is the one I got from eBay, not not the game store or Goodwill. So yeah, but I will sh yeah, but the one I got from there, I will show you those in another video or so. So anyway, let's start to these first. I just haven't got a chance to show it to you earlier. So got some more movies, not TV shows this time. Nope. Oh, I haven't got Blu-rays though. I will maybe. Maybe for, I don't know, whenever, whenever the heck, when, I will, yeah, there's a couple of movies I have, have not, ha have yet, so, I will think about it, so, and anyway, another thing that, yeah, I already know about, about Will Smith, I know that, um, he, I do forgive him what he did, though, I know that, I do agree that, that Chris Rock shouldn't make this kind of joke, you know, that just, you know, Oh yeah, even though it's just a joke, it's just something what what he said about his wife is just not cool. I know it's just a joke, but it's just probably not nice what he says. But even though Chris, I'm Chris Shark, even though that um, Will Smith did shouts and you know just this kind of you know attitude, especially right in front of the audience, especially some other uh, older or young audience watching, or m probably might be if I'm wrong or not. I do forget him though. I mean, I know. I probably don't, I might not, I don't know, I just, I do, I think I do forgive him, though. Yeah, even though that Will Smith did, so. Anyway, um, and by the way, yes, he did some of my posts, yep. They shade, looking clean, looking good, so. <laughs> anyway, once we move that out of the way, let's, why not get to these movies first? <laughs> I just got randomly from my line, so. All right, first one is is one of my favorite movies that I grew up watching, along with the other sequels. So I do not mind the sequels, except except for the sixth one or the fifth one sucked. But except for the sixth one, is because how the animation looked without Blue Sky Studios being shut down by Disney, and then D Disney decided to just, hmm, I have no idea why just, why just why not bring out this whole franchise and just like make it look let make the animation look uglier than what they did back then. But I don't know. I, I don't know what, I don't know what, I don't even know what they're thinking. I mean, that, yeah, but anyway, as of, you probably know, Ice Age. Oh, yes. I do not have the sequels, though, but this is all I got right now, so this is the first one. Yes, I like, yeah, it's probably my favorite one of the series, in my opinion, or maybe the fourth one or second, I'm not sure, but. A third one, it's not really, not really bad, though, I. I remember I used to love it when I saw it at the theaters when I was like 10, or maybe I was 10, I don't remember. <laughs> but I I started to think that the third one was alright, so. The fourth one I thought was great. I enjoyed the fourth one. The second one was great. It was a great sequel as well. Not as good as this film right here, but. But there still stands out, so. The fifth one. Yeah, the fifth one sucked, so I do, I do agree with y'all. And. Oh Lord, hey, I'll get the bad one. Buck Wild, the six Ice Age movie. That that movie is just straight up garbage. Hey, you can tell in the animation compared to the last one, so I'm I might have time to watch that, see how bad it is. So anyway, here's the first one though. Yeah, I got this on eBay for like six bucks. Um this one. This is this one for the movie, and there's this one for bonus material. Oh well, it's cool that it's got the old um Papa John's logo on here. <laughs> I say better ingredients, better pizza. <laughs> oh yeah. It's got the nice insert there. Yeah. I mean, I actually got this from a um, business or, well, you know, like, I mean, I got it from online, but I mean, it's what they like sell some like movies or DVDs, you know? So this is actually really cool though. I actually got this for like, like I said, I actually got this for like six bucks. So that's a pretty good deal for a two disc. Oh yeah. 
So yeah, that's um, Ice Age. Yeah. This came out in 2002, so that's a pretty classic movie from the early 2000s. So, oh yeah. Yep, it's that. And the next one. Um, this is the 1999 movie with Keanu Reeves. Got the original Matrix movie. Yeah, I got the Blockbuster rental case sticker label. Even though Blockbuster is probably one of my favorite rental stores or stores of my childhood growing up. So, yeah, I love Blockbuster though. I'm glad. I, I guess this is the Blockbuster rental one. So, yeah, here's Matrix. Here's the back of it. Yeah. Oh, I forgot to show you the back of Ice Age as well, so here it is. Yep, here's what that looks like on, on Matrix, so... Here it is. Here's what the disc looks like. That's Matrix. Don't want the sequels, but... I'll have to get this eventually, so... I mean, I haven't yet seen the new, the new one, but I'll have to check that out eventually, so... That's Matrix. And next one is the To The Special Edition with Tom Cruise, Jerry Maguire. Oh, heck yes. My my mother loved this movie a lot, especially my sister. She loved it a lot. I don't know if my brothers did, but yeah. This is a really great movie, though, from 1996. Classic. <laughs> so let me open this up. And here's what the inside looks like. Really nice artwork. Yep. So, here's what the inside looks like. There's this one, this two for special features. Crap, it's really good to have though. I really enjoyed it. Yeah, um... I don't know if, if Sabrina or my girl, my ex girlfriend girlfriend um seen this, but but it's a really good movie though. I really enjoyed it. Yeah, Tom Cruise. I I enjoyed Tom Cruise though. Yeah, I can't wait for the new Top Gun movie with Tom Cruise in it called Top Gun Maverick, the second one. Yeah, I'm I really enjoyed. I'm really can't wait to see that. Anyway, let's get to the last one. This is the Motion Picture uh, Anthology, 1989 through 9... <coughs> Sorry, I was thinking that nasal spray, and you know, so that's what making me cough, so... <laughs> 1989 through 1997 of Batman. Oh, yes. This is the old Batman box set here. This is the 8-disc set loaded with extras. Oh, yeah. Here's what the bat looks like with all four movies. Oh yeah, it's really not really easy to come off. Oh yeah, oh, oh shoot. Um, gosh dang it. Alrighty. Um, here's the, um, and here's the first two with um, Michael Keaton. So we got the first one. Yeah, Jack Nicholson. Yeah, Jack Nicholson did a really, really great job as, as a Joker. Yeah. Yeah, that's the two disc edition. So here's um Yeah, another Michael Keaton as Batman with Danny DeVito as the penguin. Oh yeah, he did a really funny job as the penguin as well. As M a Mitchell per, um per Fever, I don't know how you pronounce her last name with with Catwoman. So here it is. Batman returns. Oh yes. There's disc one. I don't know if you can see that. And there's disc two. Uh, disc two. Yeah, yeah, all of those are two disc editions. All four of them. Yeah, I really, I really love the first two with Michael Keaton. Though that's the only Michael Keaton that he did that he did in Batman. So I really enjoy Michael Keaton though as Batman. Yeah, my mom always told me that Michael Keaton, Michael Keaton is the best Batman. But I grew up with him as Batman is because I first watched it on Netflix. Like. I think it was like back in 2010. <coughs> I think it was. I don't remember. I think it was 2010. Yeah. I thought, yeah, that's probably my favorite Batman, along with uh, Christian Bell 
from the Dark Knight trilogy, so yeah. <laughs> and next one, we got um, um, Batman Forever with uh, Val Kilmer, which um, I thought he did a pretty decent job as Batman, in my opinion. Yeah, this movie's pretty decent. I thought it was a pretty decent movie, so... Yeah. Yeah, there's Disc 1 and 2. Um, yeah, we've got um, Tommy Lee Jones. I think that's the guy who plays Two-Face, if I'm not... I don't know, what was it? No, oh, is it not? Yeah, I, yeah, I think it was. That's the one who plays Two-Face. <laughs> Jim Carrey as the Riddler. Nicole... Um, Let's see, Nicole um, Kidman. And we got um, Chris O'Donnell. Wait, what's he? I think it's the guy who plays Robin in this one. Uh, Chris McDonald, if I'm not if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, I think it was. I don't know, but I don't I don't remember though, but yeah. That's Batman Forever. And we got some um, The worst one of the series. Oh Lord, Batman or Robin. I mean, we got uh, Arnold Schwarzenegger as Mr. Freeze. I mean, come on. And we got George. We got George Clooney as Batman. Gosh, he did the worst Batman. I mean, he did pretty. I really bad Batman in this. I hate that. Gosh, it's ridiculous. I mean, seriously though. <sighs> yeah, yeah. This isn't. This is a, a very bad movie in this franchise. I. This movie's really crappy, though. I, I mean, I do like um, a Batgirl. I think it was a Batgirl. Yeah, Batgirl in this one, though. But, but it's still a crappy movie, though. So yeah, <laughs> screw that. All right, so that's all the Batman movies, and including all the DVDs I got for right now. Is and I will, like I said, I will show you the one I got from out of town um, in the next video or so. So yeah. And yeah, that's all the videos I'm showing you for right now. So thank you guys, thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, please leave a like and subscribe. And I'll and I'll um, see you guys in the next video. And hope you guys have a wonderful day. And I'll see you guys later. Peace.